Ah, uh, the question is though, like, still, do you? Hello. Do you actually he do doesn't it? have any damage anymore, so I yeah, think he that's loses. The thing. You don't have any damage. <laughs> so. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well. Well, rip. Guess, guess, fat too strong. It was a close one, though. It was very close. Well, it didn't look super close in the end, but it, I guess it was close in the middle game. Uh, it was. I think uh, different decisions made by uh, Bear could have resulted in a horrible loss for him, honestly. Because those Hannibals with the Frostbrooder, they're a lot of fast damage that you can't deal with easily. Yeah, um, Hannibal's plus uh, Freeze is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Was there... I don't remember. Was there a big absorber in that set? There wasn't, was there? That's why those players were doing that. I think there wasn't. I okay. think there was only one. So, um, hmm, this set... What do you think of this set? Um, I think player one has a really strong centrifuge with the auric impulse and you can get oh. lucina and what? maybe even defense grid with that so that no, seems no suit fucked up he didn't pick up auric oh did you just skip work impulse he's playing too fast man he's playing like it's bullet um yeah, yeah so that's just uh he just lost the gold he's yeah. playing with a one gold disadvantage so they're both going for centrifuge i mean i think centrifuge hit is obvious honestly like it allows you to get lucina defense grid and that combo is insane. Yeah. Um, I do think that green, however, is very strong in this set as well. Uh, Mahara and Cryos are strong. Um, okay, so he has exactly enough for defense good Lucina. Yeah. If he had one more gold... Do you think he should have uh, chained some Oryx? He had the uh, the energy to chain three Oryx for the turn, and he could have had. Um, I don't think nine he extra it. nine extra gold this turn, um, which could have been. But you would have had I much less, like a lot less drones, and there's nothing else you really want to get well, on this turn. Well, basically, he could have he could have um, gotten two Oryx again, and then two Cryo Rays, which. Yeah. Um. So, so Decoro ended like, up not getting a centrifuge. So that's, what do you think of that? Yeah, I, I, I think it will be a mistake. <laughs> yeah. In a set with Defense Grid and Lucina, centrifuge is one of the the strongest units possible. In a set with any kind of like combo of two different like super high tech units, centrifuge is probably the strongest thing you could get. Um, yeah. Because you don't have to sacrifice any kind of like um, tech choices just to be able to pick up like a strong unit. You don't have to go like double animus and cripple yourself um, for the later game uh, to get Lucina, and you don't have to get triple blue in a set there's, where there's no blue to get defense. Group. And both of these units are really, really strong. Yeah. So. In this what case, do you think about that? So, Trinity, so many Trinity drones. Um, I don't like it actually. I think um, I think yeah, that green I, could be used for force fields or not force fields, uh, cryo rays. Cryo rays. Yeah, agreed. I think uh, I I. It, like I might be wrong, but it seems like the Kuro's trying to go for like this super big turn of a. Uh, like, I don't know, 10 cryos and popping like two or three gaussites and trying to breach and kill Lucina on that turn and winning off of that. But, Maybe. Um, he only has three green income. And I don't see is, that really increasing. Why is I'm in a bear suit not clicking Lucina? Um, because he only has one animus, I guess? Yes, but you still want. You still want the defense? Yeah, probably. It's probably um, more efficient than double engineer, right? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe you don't want them for defense. Maybe you're fine with having more drones instead. What do you think about buying a second animus so 
you actually can go for more perfs from Lucina. I would do it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's correct. Yeah. I think Hannibal here is a uh, not. It's probably pretty bad. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Your opponent um, needs um, like 14 make... damage. Yeah. For that to be good, so then the Hannibal dies, you absorb 6 on defense oh, grid, well, and he holds back a, a Mahar. Oh, yes. Uh, and now you're holding back a Perforator and not making another one? That just seems weird. We you got have a, so many drones. You have Tarsier instead. And, and still not... And yeah, you but didn't click I'm, Lucina. Yeah, yeah that's weird. what I meant. I mean... Like, it's obvious that Nikuro is trying to go for, like, the big Gauss side turn, but... He's going Breach like... Proof. <laughs> yeah, Breach, breach Proof with Oh, no mind. Okay, just kidding. Uh... Now he is clicking Lucina. Seems weird. I, I do like the Mahar buy. I think that's a very good uh, buy here, because next turn your defense grid is dying. See, um, if, yeah. if he clicked less turn, he would have been fine. I, I do like the Mahar, by the way, yeah. It's very good. Um, so that wall is not so great against 8 damage. Uh, you can lose the double engineer. Okay, so he managed to get 7 cryo rays. That's good, but... Uh, he had to leap back to two splitters. splitters. But, and I know. But he did it. He did it. Hey, and next turn he can press, like, one symbiote. So, how much damage is being lost by Tunkerel? Is it uh, two? It's two. <laughs> Versit has 26 drones, 25 drones as well, and he's still pumping out more and more damage. Hey. Yeah. Just see this game. Versuit seems uh, ahead by quite a bit, although he should have been using the Lucina ability. I, I think so as well. I agree. Also, that beep. <laughs> uh... Yeah, but. I think like he could have clicked Lucina I know, three, four more times easily. Yeah, I agree. Maybe he did like maybe he didn't need to, but he even uh, he even declined the Auric Impulse uh, plus one goal. <laughs> I guess that just shows how strong Centrifuge is with Lucina plus defense grid. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I even get um, Centrifuge when there's like no high tech units, it's just like value. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is value, but sometimes it might be. Sometimes it's too slow. Uh, sometimes, not often, but sometimes. I yeah, don't think the it's thing about it being too seven. slow is that um, usually it counters low econ strategies. So it's kind of in that way, almost never too slow. Um, so who should? Which game should we jump into? Should we uh, watch Silver Spawn? Uh, Silver Spawn. Silver Spawn. All Rock seems cool. Yes. It's the uh, uh, the next highest rated. They're both yeah, two zero, sure. so we should probably watch that game. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I think uh, All Rock has been banning Frostbite in every single set. Um, probably. I wonder what Silver Spawn banned. I really don't want to um, ask right now because I don't want to like annoy them. And ruin their concentration, so I'm yeah. not going to ask. But um, interesting question: Would you game? double force field here rather than leave a drone back? Yeah. 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 This is a very interesting game. How did it result in this? Oh, probably because of Antima. Um. Yeah, Silver Spawn got an Antima. 
This is weird because um, Alrock has bought ten wild drones. Alrock, four of them died. I, I, I would think that Alrock would be the Antima player in any kind of game yeah. state that looks like this. <laughs> do you think? Do you think uh, Antima is the reason that Tatsu wasn't bought? Because otherwise, this set looks like it's decent for Tatsu. Um, other than Antima and Protoplasm. But well, I think it's really good to follow up. Um, your Antima with a with Tatsu, Tatsu's, thing. right? But Alrock's going breach proof, so you can't really do that. Um, yeah. But Silver Spawn, I'm really surprised that no one has an Energy Matrix. I mean, I guess Alrock yeah, yeah. is going breach proof, and he has Wild Drones, so Energy Matrix not going to be doing so much for him. But Silver Spawn, like, if he gets an Energy Matrix, I feel like he's just winning, right? So Alrock's defending with Sentinel this turn, so he can buy a Venge Cannon next turn. I don't like that. Yeah, um, I do. And now he just loses three wild drones. Hmm. I think I'd kill the sentinel. I don't know though. Yeah, I'd he kill the sentinel. Don't... Maybe maybe he absorbed on sentinel instead. Oh. Like. What? You wouldn't? You'd rather absorb on wall and lose sentinel. Yeah, it's probably better to to absorb on sentinel. I agree. Since it has two stamina. Yeah, I mean, like you probably, like it probably dies anyways next turn, but it's still giving you, um, two HP, and one damage, rather than like the three HP that Wall would give you, or two, I guess, because of the two absorb. Yeah, so Silver so Spawn is getting a Taurus here, but he's sacrificing his sentinel he could have got a force field to save the sentinel and attack with it i guess he didn't want to attack with it because he was killing the wild drones yeah hmm. those venge cannons only have two health though so it seems like it would be better to kill his defense instead of yeah I i'm not sure this uh, this game is so weird i, I would, mean yeah. Waldrock basically can't buy anything else he has six income and i guess he can get gauss and then, and even that's not a good. Well, now I guess he can because he's got exactly four green. Uh, okay, so is... Silver Spawn just absorbed onto Rhino instead of Sentinel. Wow, I guess so. He can breach. So wait, oh Rhino instead of Sentinel? No, no, no. That's a well, it, was a, it was a one, uh, one stamina Sentinel. Okay, so what do you value more? Two HP and one damage, or an engineer? I and one damage. I, I guess no absorbing on Rhino is correct then. Because you get more HP later. It takes on. it takes and, longer for it to pay off, but it is more in the long run. Yeah. It's Protoplasm. One damage and one HP more, right? Though less granularity. It's an interesting protoplasm there. I uh, I, I guess it's... like it. I like it because it's killing all the Venge cannons. Yeah. And then sure. Allrock has no HP. I mean, no damage left. Uh, well, that was a weird game. Um, there was Energy Matrix, Centurion, Tatsu, Lucina. None of, none of those got bought. Yeah. Then hmm. Wild Drones versus, into Ant, like, versus Antima and then going Vengeance after that. And yeah. Tarsir is just killing that. Uh, it seems so weird. I... I think Allrock wanted to go Antima as well, but just couldn't get it because uh, Silver Spawn got it first. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Oh, no, wait. No. Never mind. I lied. I think Allrock wanted to go for like a Super Antima with a lot of Sentinels, but the Silver Spawn probably just got it first and uh, mm -hmm. made it impossible. Yeah. So I'm in the better set as actually 3-0 right now. I wonder if who else is going to be 3-0 by the end of this. Silver Spawn, 2-0 Daldrock. So he's 3-0. Uh, Lightning won their, his game. So there's four more games going on. You want to check on... Uh, where, where is Wolven? I guess he isn't. He's 0-1. I guess he got another buy. Uh, White Wolf and Rocks. Who's like the next next highest? White Wolf and Rocks are 1-1. One, one. Oh, uh, I guess we can check those then. 